I think there's a couple of ways to answer whether airlines should be afraid of rising air travel. Um, I think on one sense we are offering a very complementary product so our job is to get passengers into the airport be it Gatwick, Stansted or Manchester wherever that is and then rail can take over there and get them to their final destination be it the city centre or an outlying region uh, around near the airport. So in that way we're very complementary. There are some journeys, um, there seems to be a magical number of about three hours thereabouts below which rail travel is an alternative to air where we can be competing um, but you know we thrive in competition so that's the way we were born and we've grown up like that and, and that's what we want. I think the threat is where governments and authorities intervene in the process and create a, a not a level playing field so they'll create such a circumstances that rail is favoured over here through pricing, taxation or, or subsidies and in that way there's, there's a challenge for us as an industry but overall I think we have a complementary thing and we can just both thrive in the market. If you look at our passengers, it's really important that they have, our passengers have good rail connectivity for, you know, there's probably a couple of reasons for that. A lot of people flying with us are coming into the UK, so they don't have cars sitting at airports, they, and a lot of them don't actually know exactly where they're going, so it's important we have good rail to get them to their final destination. Um, I think the second thing is it's also important to take cars off the road, so congestions around airports and roads um, can be significant so rail is a good way to move mass numbers of people and that's why rail is good for both the outbound but it's also the inbound market. There's a technology challenge um, of how we, of, uh, that holds us back from successfully cooperating so how can technology support a seamless purchase of air and rail. Um, I think also there's probably a pace thing and, and actually how could it be commercialised and how could we work on it to have a commercial model because we, we operate in a very free commercial environment of revenue management. The railways is a much more controlled revenue model and ticket pricing and it's how that can kind of work together and we can complement each other because our job is to get more people flying and actually if you're doing cooperation you want to get more people going on those trains as well as how you can have a commercial model that works for all of us. We need to work together to say right how do we overcome some of the challenges of through ticketing or you know having a seamless travel experience um, and it's absolutely in our shared interest to do that.